slip outside, jump over the fence, and you're free, Chloe. You're free! Anyway, uh, welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. I haven't started uploading this yet. That's gonna be fun to... It's gonna be a fun title to put out. Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. Episode 1, Part Such and Such. Mom said David is driving me to school. If this is a nightmare, now would be a great time to wake up screaming. So that's gonna be fun to do. I actually have to let this jack off drive me to school. This is my life now. Kill me. So yeah, this episode. We go to school! Apparently. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <sighs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. <laughs> Cute. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. <laughs> no wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. I love that she doesn't even try to... She doesn't even try to come up with a lie. Just, no. <laughs> uh, anyway, David Madsen. In the original, he was voiced by Don McManus. Here, he is voiced by D.W. McCann. Bit of a Life is Strange 2 spoiler here, but D.W. McCann also voices David Madsen in Life is Strange 2. Minor spoiler for the fact that he is present in that game. I probably won't end up playing it on my channel myself. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not part... hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab like... my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. She is What is this? Us. Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Mom should date literally anyone else. Just run, Chloe! Run! Does Max picture me pathetically checking this mailbox every two seconds for letters that never come? It's sad how often she thinks of Max still. No love for Chloe. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Okay, not sure what Jizzy Walls is a reference to. I'm supposed to get David his stupid wrench. What the hell has happened to my life? Yeah, I have no idea what that's supposed to be a reference to. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? 
should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Uh, and she will. Uh, as I recall, this is the, uh, the stereo that is in her room in the original game. Oh, it's cute. It's her dad. Like, it's, she doesn't want to lose things that belong to her dad. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? She'll still keep it, though. It's a bit of her dad. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Oh, that's... That's such a cute photo to, to take down. That's... Don't take... Keep that photo, it's... Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Hmm. Ah, there's the poster. Hanging in the gar garage. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? I imagine having so much of the uh, model, like having so much of the space actually modeling work actually done, probably helped a lot in developing this game. I'm supposed to get David his stupid wrench. What the hell has happened to my life? There's his stupid socket wrench set. Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? On the left, intruder alert is what intruder comes out to. Intruder alert. This one Got it. clearly is the one you need to go with. Home unimprovement achievement. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? Box of dicks. I mean, obviously that's the one I was I had to go with. Was there ever a question? So you find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Hit him. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Might have. Also, you're fucking welcome, dick. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. deposits. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. do anything is how you do everything.
Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> What a dick. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I Please don't talk want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. Oh. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. He is a dick. He is an asshole. Yeah, no. Respect but. him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Oops, I think I might have been about to... Give me a second here. Shemapel don't give a shit. <laughs> You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? <laughs> I was in the Damn. army. You will respect me. Doesn't the Constitution say no soldiers quartered in civilian homes without consent? By the way, zero game and one porn stash? Damn. <laughs> good. That is a good one. I like that one. Things with mom seemed like they couldn't get any worse. Ha! <laughs> the sad truth is, I suddenly have to choose between being nice or being honest with her, because I can't be both. But how can I keep being nice and pretend pretending like she didn't make a horrible choice with the mustache? And why am I the only one concerned about this hostile takeover of our house? Today it's a toolbox and pot roast. Tomorrow it's. I should stop there for sanity's sake. Honesty, Bill. Nice boy. Seems like I always have to be sneaky now. I'm trying to help, like slipping money into her purse this morning. Also, mom knows I've been skipping, which sucks, but in a way makes me feel better about it. Does that make me a bad person? That I don't feel bad about fucking off and just relieved that I don't have to waste the energy to lie about it anymore? On second thought, don't answer that. Chloe, the no good, very bad person. Also, uh, I was mentioning the porn stash. Zero game and one porn stash great line, but also good on her for quoting from the Bill of Rights. No soldier is quartered like a good... She knows her shit. Because for the record, I do not consent. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. <laughs> Don't know why I bother trying. Neither do I. Mission accomplished. Uh, I don't really remember, like, how the dialogue goes if you just endure. I think it's just, if you just shove and endure it, it's just, he just lectures you, and I don't think there's anything particularly interesting. Shutting it down is way more interesting, frankly. So much more interesting just to shut it down, get 
she does not like him and she is she doesn't want to try for this guy he is a douche Anyway, now for something, uh, slightly unsettled. That's right. Country, Country music. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Really, really not again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Uh, so yeah, this song came out in 2012. Which is four years after William died. Uh, oh, the song is uh, Burning in the Midnight Oil by Tom Jutz and Peter Cronin. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Turn it up. Where are we going, Dad? If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Okay, the fact that he doesn't respond is really sad. I'm guessing it's just, uh, Looney Tunes style repeating backgrounds is, uh, my guess for, for this. But if you just sit and watch one of it's just gonna be, uh, same stuff repeating over and over. This isn't right. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. You're going to be late. Should I sit? Huh. Should I thank him or not? Mom did tell me to thank him. And plus, after that night, after that dream turning into a nightmare she's probably shaken up too shaken up not to say it. shit thanks don't use that sarcastic tone with me young lady i can see you rolling your eyes uh, hello i was actually saying i thank see everything i'll warn everything 
I see everything. Maybe a reference to his, uh... Hello, Black Hell. Future needs excellence. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was... Thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? See, ya. Elliot Hampton. He is voiced by Cameron Quisang. I should probably, I probably should have looked up how these names are pronounced. I was thinking I should have looked up how his names are pronounced. Dickish of me not to. So I should, I like, I really should have. It's, it's really not. Uh, Cool that I did. Anyway, he is the first of the brand new characters introduced. Anyway, um, while Chloe is in a sort of anti everything mood, and you know, it's like. Oh, a school play, a school putting on Shakespeare, that sounds awful. I feel like there's also a part of her that's like, Read a Shakespeare. I feel like there is a part of her that's still like, Fuck you, Shakespeare school. Yep. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Clearly he is this, ver this game's version of Warren. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. I guess it uh, shows... Get DVD from Step Fit. Meh. Well, at least not for now. Sci fi movie club. New to the genre? Let us introduce you to the classics. See, have a movie suggestion? See Warren or Brooke. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Drugs. They will mess you up. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. I'll mention now something else that's worth mentioning. Um, the Tempest does have play a fairly major role in this game. Uh, all the uh, all the episode titles are drawn from. Uh, lines from the Tempest. And uh, it's just, it's a big thing. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. See you in class. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks. On my way. Mikey is another new character. Need my DVD from Steph. 
I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Bad ass. <laughs> yeah, you know how I roll. He seems like a nice guy. Uh, Skip Matthews is voiced by Tanner Gould. And he does seem like a genuinely nice guy. Honestly. So, I went to the mill last night, caught Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What, like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit, really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Uh. Pisshead. They actually are in the uh, alternate timeline of the first game. When you uh, alternate alternate timeline, Chloe is a fan of Pisshead. Uh, the, uh, the version of Chloe who's in a wheelchair, totally crippled. Uh, the version of Chloe who asks you to uh, to euthanize her. That uh, that Chloe, remember that from the first game when Chloe. tells you that she's in constant pain and dying and asks you to uh, to give her a lethal overdose so she can die with good memories. Anyway, yeah, that Chloe was a fan of Pisshead. Yeah, okay. Great! made up of uh, Deck 9 employees. Two of the game directors, uh, one of the producers, and uh, audio director. Uh, the song is called Chemical Problem. Yeah, honestly. 
I would say no to listen to more Pisshead. So, what did you think? Really good. I dug it. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was that shit was legit. You're back. Uh, any news? So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. Yeah. I thought you high risks all stuck together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Dude. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. I've got to get to class. Let's talk later, Skip. Sure, Chloe. Hey. Stay out of trouble. High risks? Interesting. I've never heard that. Uh, I've never heard high risks as, like, a noun before. But, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Skip is a nice dude. I mean, he, like, he's a secure. He's secure, security at a fucking yuppie school. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. So, like, what the hell does he care about kids smoking weed? You know, he doesn't. He has no reason to care about that. It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, you know, he's paid to care about it, but I mean, it's, he's a nice guy. I like him. I genuinely like this. Guy. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Uh, even she likes Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Uh, in the original game, she is voiced by Fashawn Wilson. Here she is voiced by Gina Dobson. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well... The Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. The art support STEM too. Yeah. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. <laughs> Beyond that, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's tough. I'll see you in class. Right, Chloe? It is tough. I bet Steph and Mikey are playing games on one of the tables. I should... Probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. 
Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. I mean, life is unusual. I'm sorry. Principal Wells. Hey. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm, uh, yep. <laughs> I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. No, loosen up. Uh, right, Principal Wells. The original game, voiced by Eric Morgan Stewart. Here, voiced by Marcus Oliver. Also, I like that he just immediately goes to, like, we have counseling services. You know, like, he does chew us out after, but the fact that his immediate reaction is to express concern for our safety, for Chloe's safety, it does show that he genuinely cares about his Also, uh, how about minor infractions? Kind of funny, but I didn't do it. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Yeah, let's, uh, back up. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah. So you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Cause your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make wall references? This must be a big moment for you. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. How did you become principal without learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment? A legal search and seizure? Yeah. We are a private institution and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. Is it also policy to label certain students high risk and then single them out for special intimidation tactics? How do you know about that designation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? 
I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. Again, shows her intelligence along with her... Uh... Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. It shows her intelligence along with her... Uh... Arrogance and stuff. Yeah, the fact that she is like the, uh, you know, bringing up illegal searches, or bringing up, you know, Fourth Amendment. Also, because uh, your name is Wells. <laughs> that was, that is just incredible. You can also make a comment about, uh, your well running deep. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. But I feel like it is so much funnier to pun on his name. I feel like that's the kind of thing that would throw him out just because, like, fuck, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. Don't miss out on the most important meal of the day. Treat your body right for the stress of final sport. But fire's so pretty. Your burnt fire safety. That's what you call for shadow. For the record. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Winning while doping is winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. I'm with Chloe on this one. That is a weird and needlessly confusing. No sucking on tampons. I got a I mustard big. Sit on my face and cross after Johnson. That Zach is hot. Stony. Jack has a nice ass. Mr. Need B. my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Mr. B is a dick. Smoke a fatty, Brenda. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. Hanging out at a possibly illegal concert is different from hanging out in school. Something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. Um, 
also, obviously, Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. Rock Idol achievement. The other option has you draw the uh, the singer from Firehawk. I wonder if Wells is going to appreciate my art. Sadly, it will be gone by the time the first game. It'll get painted or washed off or whatever. I mean, it's written in marker. It'll probably wash off in the rain anyway. But eventually. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Steph and Mikey are saving for the next episode because there's kind of a long season. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Yeah, another good character, yeah. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Uh, Samantha Myers is voiced by Haley Hayes, and uh, she is she is kind of a uh, she is designed as sort of a another like an alternate version of uh, Max, so so to speak. She is a bit of a kind of a foil a little bit to Max. Or not, not necessarily a point, but like similar to Max. Sort of like the way you know, Elliot was similar to Warren being a uh, somewhat geeky dude who's got a huge crush on the protagonist. Anyway. It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's... funny? It is, if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. <laughs> no one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. <laughs> I bet. Damn. <laughs> they like that. Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't have actually said that they'd call you bitchy. I really didn't mean anything. It's cool. It's cool. You're cute. You're, you're fine. You're too cute to get mad at, don't I bet Steph and Mikey are playing games on one of the tables. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Anyway, yeah. Sadly, of course, uh, Samantha is gone by the time of the original game. Uh, no indication what happened to her. Probably she just moved away. But... Never explain. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? 
yeah, so Victoria in the original game, voiced by Danny Knights. Here she is voiced by Teresa Croft. Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, Dang. look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Yeah, Victoria. Bitch from the start. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. The payoff for that one will come uh, later. I won't spoil the payoff of that. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding I it up. I can tell Justin's Mikey's wearing somewhere. his eau de gange. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Justin, in the original boy game, voiced by Carlos Luna, here voiced by Chad Skiles. Dude, you need to freshen like a mofo. Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Price. Wanna hit? Like, right here? Thanks. Oh, hit that? Wait, that's what I meant by hit. Yeah, smell like... You saying I smell like weed? Dude, I'm saying that you have weed growing out of you at this point. I'm saying that you are probably about 60% weed. At least. Chloe, what's the latest? Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. <laughs> Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. So she's clearly willing to help people. Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. <laughs> it was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. One thing that's kind of weird uh, in the first game. Uh, I mean, it's not that weird, I guess. But at one point, uh, Justin doesn't seem to recognize 
by the way, he mentions the uh, blue hair chick. Seems like it, you know, seems like he doesn't really know her. But then they do talk. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Yeah, it's clear that she does know him. That said, he is perma stoned. He is perma baked. So basically everything. Any inconsistency ever with him can be chalked up to him being stoned. At all times. Ah, uh, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? I don't really remember him being a bleeding heart in the first game. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Uh, Evan, in the first game, voiced by Carlos Luna. In the second game, uh, in this one, voiced by Casey Leach. He gets a little bit more, uh, he does show up a little bit more in this game than he did in the first one. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knobcone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knobcone again. No. <laughs> I mean, yes, like, he said knob cone. <laughs> like, there's really... It's funny! Knob cone is a funny word. I'm sorry, Evan. But knob cone is funny. It's just a funny word. Don't get mad. Don't get mad about her wanting you to say uh, Bob Cone again. It's a funny word. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Principal Dix and, uh, Big McHuge Balls. Uh... Anyway, yeah, so we do know, of course, that Rachel does uh, end up posing for him. He, do he did take a couple photos of her uh, for his uh, portfolio. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know... Interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. Yeah. How seriously am I taking this right now? Yeah, uh, Principal Dix and Big McHuge Balls are, uh, have already said. So, Smokeweed D. Bear, kinda funny. That said, happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Ivanis Ann Askway. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan. Thanks so much for signing my petition. Evan is. And ass clown. Ah, don't be so hard on yourself.
All right, I feel kind of sorry for him now. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. You're back. Why do I keep talking to you? I've got shit to do. All right, so over there are Steph and Mikey. Um, do have to talk to them to progress the game. So I will go over them next episode. Like I said, the scene with them uh, gets uh, on the long side. Uh, if you choose, if you choose to let it go on the long side, it does get to the same. I will be choosing so. Because I will be choosing to do something fun with Need them. my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. So, we will meet them in the next episode. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.